I have just finished sewing off the end of one set of strips. As you see, they pile up in the back here. I started the next set, get the top and the right edge even, and then make them ride under your machine so that you have your quarter inch foot. And just continue sewing until you have all of this step done. That way you speed up production. You're doing the same thing over and over, and you get faster at it. So continue until you have all of your strips sewn together. I finished all of my strips. Now this is the time I want you to remember if you have a thread cutter on the side of your machine, take the end of the strip you just did and trim that thread. Then pull it long ways to the next thread, trim it, then hold this one in this hand and grab the tail, pull this one down, grab it in this hand, trim it, pull it down, trim it, pull it down, trim it. Keep doing this for all of these strips so that when you go to the ironing board, all of your strips are in the same direction. I even trim that first little thread that I have and we'll get these ironed and go to the next step now. I have my strips at the ironing board now. I'm ready to press them open. You want to put the strips down with the darker side or the side you want your seam to go toward on the top with the seam where you sew them together toward you. You want them on the near side of you. You take your iron. I like lots of steam. I'm going to steam it, open it, and bump that seam open real good. Bring it down. Now close it up so you can steam this last little bit. We're not pressing, we're ironing now. We don't have any bias seams to worry about. So that should have this one pressed open. This is a good time, too, to check on your, your width of your strips. You should have six and a half inches wide. So check that at this time, and we'll finish ironing these open, and then we'll cut the blocks from them. Now, we want to take this strip, and I'm going to line one of the lines in my ruler up with the actual seam line and then cut off the selvage. That's going to give us a nice straight edge on one end. Now I'm going to flip it around because I'm right-handed. These should be six and a half across, which they are, and we want to measure six and a half from the end. Keep one of your lines, even with that seam line in the center, your six and a half line should be here and here. We're going to cut our block. Each time we cut one, we'll stack it to the side. We're going to need four of these for each one of our blocks of our quilt. So we need 48 in all. And I'll continue cutting these up so that we can start with the next step of our quilt. So far, we've cut out our center block. We've sewn our strips together for this block right here, and we've cut them out. Now it's time to do these corner pieces, the two half triangles we cut. We're going to sew them right down the center, press toward the dark, and get all of those ready. Half of them will be uh, burgundy and white, and the other half will be teal and white. So we'll get busy now. We have our burgundy and white triangle pieces that we cut. We had them layered when we cut them, so we're going to pick them up just like they were. We're going to sew down this long edge here, making sure that the top is even, and then we will go to the other end, match up the ends, put just a little pressure on it to make sure that they come out even. When we finish sewing the first one, we will start the second one right after it, and we will chain them all together. When we're done, we will take them to the ironing board and press them to set the seam, and then open them and press the seam toward the dark material. We're ready to put our first block together. We have all of the parts together. This is the one with the teal in the center and the burgundy blocks on the corners, the burgundy triangles. We want to make sure when we do this, this color is opposite of this color. 
We also want to make sure the burgundy arrow or triangle is pointed outward and all four of these floral strips are against the green. We'll start by sewing this block to this one and this block to this one and complete row one. Then we'll sew this block to this one, this one to this one. There's block to, uh, row two. Then the same thing here to that one and that one here. When we get all our rows together, uh, our blocks together into rows, we will sew this row onto here and then this row onto here and we'll have our first block completed.